It is a clash like no other. The trends confuse. The numbers reveal very little. The three-way fight is between an IIM graduate of the AIA DMK, an ex-mayor from the DMK, and of course, the so-called Singham of the Bharatiya Janta Party. We are of course referring to the former cop with a tough superhero image, K. Anamalai, and the complicated Coimbatore clash for the Lok Sabha elections. And just like the candidates, Coimbatore has a healthy mix of extremely varying issues, from drugs to crime, from industries to jobs, and much more. A total of 37 contestants are in the fray, of which 26 are independent, including the very famous Noor Muhammad. So, why is this Tamil Nadu constituency so complicated? Why are the faces in the fray to watch out for? With no AIA DMK support for the NDA, can Annamalai pull off a miracle for the BJP? It is very clear there is a huge wave for Narendra Modi in Tamil Nadu. In places like Coimbatore, which are growth oriented cities, yeah. and the wave is more now. Sir, I am telling you, you will witness also the people of Coimbatore have decided that 60% of votes polled, minimum BJP will get 60% of votes polled in Coimbatore. It will be a historic day, April 19. We have the entire population on our side. Uh, I don't know, the people don't seem to know what he's been saying. It's only the media that, that seems to know what he's been saying. That's because the people don't have uh, any time or patience or to listen to uh, such words, such false promises. This is going to be a historic loss for BJP in Tamil Nadu. They're going to lose to not all again. To even attempt to understand Coimbatore's politics, we have to go back to almost a quarter of century to 1998 when the BJP under Bajpayee managed to stitch together an NDA government. the Modi wave hit. Written off for a couple of years, the BJP was right back in the game nationally by 2012. Coimbatore still remained out of reach though. In 2014, the on-again, off-again NDA ally AIA-DMK defeated BJP by 42,000 votes. 1% of voters chose NOTA. In that year, Jainalitha's party had won 37 of Tamil Nadu's 38 Lok Sabha seats, while the BJP took one. For the BJP, 2019 was more or less a repeat in Coimbatore. So one thing is certain, in the past six general elections, the BJP has established itself as a power to reckon with in Coimbatore. But the last time a Saffron candidate won the seat was back in 1999. The BJP's Tamil Nadu chief K. Annamalai faces an uphill task. He can, in fact, be credited for the BJP AIA DMK fallout, having attacked the former ally publicly in 2023. Bangalore South's ex deputy commissioner of police, Annamalai, has already stitched together an alliance in Tamil Nadu. For Annamalai though, the problem in Coimbatore is in the presence of lack of alliance. The numbers show Annamalai will have to lead the fight if he hopes to change Saffron fortunes in Tamil Nadu. The young firebrand has already been raising the issue of drugs 
alleging a cartel involving DMK leadership. If you see the drugs in the middle of the world, drugs, ganja, synthetic drugs, this is the case of the people who are in the world, who are in the world, who are in the world, who are in the world. We have said that we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that பட்டி தொட்டி எல்லாம் கிராமம் வரைக்கும் ட்ரக்ஸ் வந்துருச்சு இதை பெரும் முயற்சி எடுத்து கட்டுக்குள் கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் என்று திமுக அரசு குறிப்பாக இந்த முப்பத்தி மூன்று மாத காலத்தில் வரலாறு காணாத அளவுக்கு தமிழகத்தில் ட்ரக்ஸ் புழக்கம் அதிகமாக இருக்கிறது Now Rajkumar has served as Coimbatore's mayor. He is fighting on the plank of the declining industry in the region. Coimbatore was once called the Manchester of South India because of the number of small, medium and large industries present. Today, however, while Coimbatore remains a crucial constituency, second only to Chennai, it has lost its place as Tamil Nadu's industrial engine. On the third front, Annamalai's claims against Stalin are echoed at least in part by AIA DMK's Singhai G. Ramachandran. Both Coimbatore candidates have raised the issue of drugs. AIA DMK too has a lot to prove this time around. For Annamalai too, a lot is on the line. If the BJP performs in Tamil Nadu and he wins Coimbatore, he will cement his place as the next big saffron face. But anything short of a spectacular performance in Tamil Nadu will bring the spotlight right back at Annamalai's alliance troubles. After all, Annamalai had publicly broken the party line and attacked the AIA DMK. Even while the BJP brass tried to patch things up with its Tamil ally, Annamalai had remained firm on his stance. All 39 seats in Tamil Nadu will go to polls on April 19th in the first phase of the Lok Sabha elections 2024. June 4th will reveal BJP's fate, Coimbatore's result and Annamalai's political trajectory.